When running applications that need to connect with other services, other pods, or other applications, there is a need to authenticate, which is done through sharing credentials. Credentials such as passwords, SSH keys, API keys, and bearer tokens are stored in environment variables through configuration files, through file mounts, or through other means. Kubernetes has secrets objects that allow us to store and distribute secrets, but the secrets object stores secrets as base64 encoded values in a key value pair format within the 8CD database. An attacker can use Kubernetes configuration files, read secrets from configuration files, and perform the lateral movement to other pods, other nodes, another cluster, other cloud services, or even third-party services through stolen credentials. Secret management is an essential pillar in securing anything, and here are some ways to mitigate failures in secret management. Since Kubernetes secrets objects are stored in the 8CD data store, it is important to ensure encryption at rest for the 8CD data store and its backups. Using third-party secret management systems such as Azure Key Vault, a WS Secrets Manager, or HashiCorp Vault, to store secrets and dynamically inject secrets into workloads. Addressing security misconfiguration arising from insecure workloads and insecure RBACs. In Kubernetes, since every theme including secrets are configurations in the form of YAML files, storing configuration files that have secrets encrypted can be achieved through tools such as Mozilla SOAPs. Well, that's it for this lecture. Let's move on to the next one.